Hi friends and friendly subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Inner Hill Tarot and today we are going to do unboxing this Mildred Payne's Secret Pocket Oracle Deluxe Edition and I'm going to energy pairing it with the Abandoned Oracle. Both are a deck from Patrick Valenza and this is like a little bit weird because the box itself is a little bit scuffed but inside is still new so it's a bit weird and i'm sorry about this my beautiful cat decided to have his butt butt there so <laughs> please forgive me um so yeah let's see what's inside and the thing with the patrick valenza decks is like I kind of enchanted by his artwork for a little bit um, but this year with the twin the summer twins for some reason I don't know I think it's a little bit too much for the notion of this um, make-believe reality is starting to get a bit much for me and the enchantment it feels a little bit wearing off right now i don't know if i'm going to get enchanted again by his deck but so far i'm a little bit i don't know what to say i felt that his deck are really beautiful and exquisite and one of a kind no one can do um decks the way that he does so it's definitely in a unique side but at the same time i don't really use his deck for um, client reading for example so what does that leave his deck in my collection i don't know and on top of that i got his deck this one's as part of the uh, collection that I received actually this year early April so I haven't even got the chance to see them so yeah a bit weird <laughs> anyway let's do the silent flip and not silent flip through I guess I will see what kind of flip through is this going to be um so yeah both of uh, the deck is like made in china there is no guidebook whatsoever for both um i think this one is uh, kind of like a make-believe of a uh, asylum hospital in london i don't know about this one so there is the pdf uh, deck guide for example and this one is also have a deck guide as well and we shall see how it's going to be okay um yeah let's do the silent flip through now so this is the story of both back i think which is quite interesting you can pause the video and read it later, okay? It's interesting, it has the same beginning. wow look at this one is the hand of the devil and this one is the devil himself mildred paints interesting i love how similar the coloration is in this um, decks i know that 
he also doing paradoxical colors and also different type of coloring um, but I like the original one the most I think beautiful Oof, look at this this is difficult to see a infliction this is right up halloween's alley i feel the crematorium in the sun the shadow overpowering the person it's funny like the thief trying to get in into the windows and this is number 33 is the door it's very interesting
question. Look at all. This is so creepy with the reattachment. It's kind of remind me of uh, the girl in Nightmare Before Christmas, and she's keep this dismembered and reattachment her uh, her her limbs. And she's uh, in the end, she's in the end become like the bride from, for the guy, Jack. It's kind of cute story. The elixir. Unk and the uh, viewing, interesting. Look at how similar it is. The um, the power of life this is the back of the deck and we will continue with this one It feels a little bit like Lenormand, isn't it? That or Keeper card, something like this. I think it's highly intuitive way to read. I wish it has a guidebook though because otherwise it kind of doesn't make sense what are these pictures means <laughs> it's really highly intuitive um, way to read divination cards I guess it has 88 cards inside no wonder it's called the deluxe Secret Pocket Oracle Okay I don't know if this is like actually in focus Doesn't look very focused but it's probably are Okay, so basically We just finished the very fast silent flip through of both decks and I don't know in my opinion I, I because I also don't read Lenormand so I'm not sure if I can use the Mildred paints to be honest because it's just like very literal meaning um, I like the abandoned Oracle more because there is more things to read and it's very interesting and like i said it's very uniquely him and so for me it's like a no-brainer i will work with this oracle deck um, probably with deviant moon and together with the uh, triumphi de la luna i think this is like really macabre and unique um, deck to have even though I'm not as um, interested with Patrick Valenza work as I used to be like one year before I was so impressed and gaga over his artworks um, yeah I think the Zammer twins is really make me feel very wah wah for some reason <laughs> also because I think he tried to make his um, artwork looks more special and uh, the first edition of Zim Zammer Twins you have to have it things like this and then for people who got the second edition didn't get the first edition and then it's like oh but the first edition people will get things from the second edition as well it's just a little bit weird you know and it's like there is 
self-created hype <laughs> in my opinion <laughs> but maybe i was wrong that's just my opinion but i like the abandoned arako i think i'm going to use it also for inner child wound um i think it's very resonating for shadow work i don't know about the mildred's pain i will let you know i will let you guys know in uh, my my instagram account which is inner hill tarot as well over there i'm using the deck that i do unboxing for my own personal reading i'm not using my client reading it's just to make um, the deck become the account become the deck and the account become a laboratory a laboratory uh, for my divination work basically so that's it guys it's a very short video i hope you can use if you already use this deck please let me know how do you guys feel about them uh, do you use it regularly you don't use it you like it you don't like it please leave a comment because and also uh, don't forget to subscribe share and comment <laughs> basically all the other what other youtubers do as well and ask you to do because that is really the fastest way for you to be able um helping me supporting the channel and keep me going and keep me doing video that i like like this okay guys see you soon and have a great weekend bye bye